Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you how to fix the virus and threat protection not working on Windows 11. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to update the operating system. To do this press the Windows button then select the settings icon and afterwards make sure to scroll down on the left pane until you find and select Windows Update and then on the right side just make sure to click on the blue check for updates button. Now Windows will scan for the best possible updates for your PC and install them as soon as possible. You can then restart your PC and check if the problem still persists. Another useful solution is to turn on real-time protection. To do this press the Windows button then simply type Windows Security and select it from the search results. In here just make sure to click on the virus and threat protection and afterwards just click on manage settings under virus and threat protection settings. In here just enable the toggle for real-time protection. You can then check if the problem still persists. You can also repair the Windows Security app. To do this press the Windows button then select the settings icon and then on the left pane make sure to click on apps and afterwards on the right side click on apps and features. In here under the app list just click on the search apps box and simply type security. Now scroll down until you find the Windows security app and click on the three dots next to it and select advanced options. In here scroll down until you find the reset section and make sure to click on the repair button. In this case the apps data won't be affected at all. But if this step doesn't prove useful, you can also try the reset option. So click the reset option and in this case the app's data will be deleted and restored to the default settings. You can then check if the problem still persists. Another useful solution is to run a system file checker scan. To do this press the Windows button then simply type cmd and then run command prompt as an administrator. In the command prompt window just type the following command and then press enter. Now just wait a bit because the command can take some time and afterwards restart your PC and then you can check if the problem still persists. You can also restart the security center service. To do this press the windows button then simply type services.msc and then select it from the search results. Now as you can see the list is quite big so if you want your specific service just press on a random surface then type the letter corresponding to the service you're looking for. Now just locate the security center, right click it and select the restart option. Again, restart the computer and check if the issue is fixed. And lastly, another great solution is to enable Windows Defender using the Registry Editor. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type Reg Edit and select Registry Editor from the search results. Now in here, just navigate to the following location. H key local machine, then software, afterwards scroll down until you find the Policies key and double click it, then Microsoft, and lastly, just double click the Windows Defender key. Now on the right side you have to locate the disable anti-spyware d-word, otherwise if it's not there just right click an empty space on the right side, hover over new and select the d-word value. Now name this d-word disable anti-spyware. Afterwards just double click it and make sure that the value is set to zero. Lastly just press on ok to save the changes. Restart your PC and then check if the issue is resolved. And that's it, plenty of solutions to consider. As usual, for more information and details, you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.